Hands, hands. Most of us have two of them. Pesky things as they are filled with complex shapes. They always take me time to get right. You can pack a lot of character into your hands though, and express yourself in a variety of ways, so it's worth knowing how to get the most out of them. A lot of our characters will have them, so why not make a versatile base mesh together to speed up creating them in the future? Watch out for these little drawings throughout the video. I will be marking out some of the shapes I am intending to create while sculpting this hand. Hopefully you will find these useful along the way. Let's start by creating our framework to build future hands from. Let's start with the palm. From a square we can shrink down the Y axis and skew using the grab tool. It's almost shaped like a little house. You can download this poseable base mesh from the Gumroad, but I would also encourage you to have a go at making your own. If you're more interested in posing and adding some character to your hands, skip ahead using the timestamps in the description. While selecting two objects, you can parent them together using Ctrl P. If you're wondering about the custom pie menus I am using, Check out the description to understand those better. You can hit Alt and R to reset the rotation of the hand parts quickly. Once you have your objects parented together, while selecting an object which is a parent or a child, you can use the square bracket keys to quickly select related objects. Let's take our base structure and create a hand of doom. We need to pose it in a disturbing way of course, and it will need nails too.
In edit mode we can take the top face of a cylinder and merge it in the centre by hitting the M key when selected. This gives us a nice cone shape to build our nail from. Selecting this new nail and selecting the tip of the finger together, hit Ctrl J to combine these shapes and all the other fingertips will update too. Once we are generally happy with our hands pose, let's hit Ctrl J and remesh it all together. Using clay strips, scratch in and out parts of the hand to give it a more distressed look. We can also shape the base mesh into a fist of power.
Make a duplicate of your pose mesh before you merge together, just in case you need to revisit the structure again. Well hopefully you now have a better idea about how to sculpt a hand. So go on, express yourself with the mini handy hand base mesh and see what you can create. Perhaps you feel ready to try sculpting a whole miniature. Here's a dwarf warrior I created not so long ago. Check the description for the tools to create minis like this for yourself.